How many times have you been out on a time-lapse shoot when, you know, for a couple of hours everything's going well and then all of a sudden, <coughs> condensation. Whether it's still condensation building up in a tropical location or in fact condensation that's freezing if you're shooting in the cold. But there is a solution and all you need is an old sock, an elasticated Velcro closing band and a couple of the little hand warmer gel packs. Okay, so I've got my uh, Kessler quick release. Let's just put my camera in. Okay. Okay, solid. Okay. Now, some of them, like this one here, they've actually got like a, an adhesive back, which makes life a bit easier. Um, so you just take that adhesive back off. If I had any nails, it would make life a bit easier. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm just going to peel it back and I'll, I'll get the other one. Okay, so that's the second one. Okay, so we unpeel it, we take the backs off, we have unpeeled that one. Lay that down, let's unpeel that one. Okay, so now we've got the sticky part facing here, facing out. What I then do is I get my old sock. Uh, I've got the pads with the sticky adhesive guard taken off. I'll put one there and I'll stick another one just here, the second one. Okay, now some of these require that you rub them or that you agitate the chemicals inside. I believe that this one is a, a rubby, so I'll give them a quick rub. You can already start to feel a little bit of the warmth generating. Okay, so that's uh, reassuring that they're going to work. Now with this particular lens, before I put this on, what I'll do is I'll just check and make sure that my focus is set. Okay, so once I've got my um, pads on my sock, I've made sure I've got my focuses locked, everything's set and good to go. And then with the pads at the bottom, so that the heat generates up through the lens, yeah, and keeps the uh, the glass elements warm, right through the lens uh, from the bottom, and affect all of the uh, the glass elements inside, just to keep them a little bit warmer than the outside temperature. I then take my little Velcro band, my elasticated Velcro band that my wife lovingly crafted for me. I put that around the outside, give it a little tug just to create a little bit of uh, elasticity and then just put it into place. Okay, like that now my lens is dressed, I'm good to go. Um, all I need to do is wait for the, the time lapse to start and we should be good to go. Um, so hopefully a little tip that will allow you for easier and more productive time-lapse shoots of an evening and this is just hopefully a tip that will uh, allow you to have uh, better results with your time-lapse shoots if you're shooting at night time and especially in cold uh, climates. Cheers guys, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.